Now entertainment news. A Chicago court has sentenced actor uh, Joseph Bullitt, one-time star of the TV drama Empire, to 13 months probation and 150 days in jail for uh, staging a hit crime against himself. A jury in December found Smollett, 39, guilty of five of the six felony disorderly conduct counts he faced, one for each time he was accused of lying to police. Cook County Circuit called Judge James Lane also ordered Smollett to pay over $120,000 in restitution and fined him $25,000, saying he didn't agree to damage to people that are genuine victims of hate crimes. I am innocent and I am not suicidal. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you and I respect the jury, but I did not do this and I am not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. And you must all know that. It is the worst thing that can happen, especially in our country with all our history and all that we're going through now to try to get around some of these issues. Hate crimes are the absolute worst. And I believe that you did damage to real hate crimes, to hate crime victims. There are people that are actual, genuine victims of hate crimes that you did damage to. These are people that are, have a difficult time coming forward. They may be mistrustful. They may not want to bring it to the attention of the community or first responders. Uh, there may be some trepidation. I don't know for sure how much damage there was. I don't know how this is going to impact other people, if they're going to be hesitant to come forward because they're going to think that they're going to be accused of acting like you and, and doing a stunt like you pulled here. Emotional moment. My brother was sentenced to 150 days in prison, which while on its own might not sound like a long sentence to all of you, but if you could, re could listen to the recital of the prosecutor's entire, entire prosecution at the mouth of the duly elected judge, James Lynn, all right? I don't understand, and I spoke specifically today to the judge, and I asked for leniency. I did not expect him to be completely lenient and listen, but at the same time, he shamed my brother. He spoke about his arrogance. He doesn't know the struggles my brother is encountering. He doesn't know anything that he's dealing with. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.